In this video, I'm going to explain exactly how to properly use TikTok for real estate agents, why it's so massively important right now, what you're missing out on, exactly step by step what you can do in order to make it very easy in order to use and not dance around like a 17 year old. And I'm going to give you the exact blueprint. So without further ado, let's dive straight into it. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mike Sherrod. I train thousands of agents every year on leveraging social media to scale their business. I'm with eXp Realty uh, with one of the fastest growing groups. And I want to show you exactly what to do now before we get started. I will say that I drop daily videos on my TikTok that I do not share on any other platform. So make sure you check the description as well as the pinned comment. Go follow my TikTok so that you can see some of the daily tricks that I do not share anywhere else. Um, and also 76% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So even if you don't watch another one, please just subscribe. It really helps me out and inspires me to keep putting up multiple videos every single week. So what we're going to do, as you can see here, is explain why you need to be using it and what most people aren't thinking about, what you should be posting, how to make it easy, and how often and when. So let's get straight into it and dive into the details. So here we go. Why should you be leveraging TikTok? Now, the first thing that most people aren't thinking about is how much time people spend on each platform. Right now, this is crazy. Right now, more people spend more time on TikTok than YouTube. And YouTube has 2 billion active monthly users and was the most used platform. So TikTok has officially surpassed YouTube, which is absolutely incredible. So as a real estate agent, we need to understand that we need to be in front of the most eyeballs possible, because as you know, the more people who know you and the more people you know, the more deals you're going to get. So it's a really great way to, again, get in front of the target audience. And you might say, well, Mike, my target audience isn't on TikTok. Well, let me explain point number two. The largest rising demographic on TikTok is 25 to 45 years old, which based on NIR stats is the average age of a home buyer, home seller, in today's market. So what's happening is in years in the past, yes, it was for younger people, but as it's become more mainstream and as different types of content are thriving on there, it has become a different type of platform where the average demographic is in fact your target avatar as a real estate agent. Now, and there's even agents in my group that have been attracting clients in their 50s, 60s and, and older. So the next thing that's really cool is that you have the ability on your profile to connect your Instagram and your YouTube. And most people are using Instagram and YouTube, Instagram to build their personal brand, stay top of mind, YouTube to attract clients at scale. And what's happening is you're getting mass engagement from TikTok and you're able to funnel that traffic to other platforms that you've already established yourself on. So it is a very great way to build your personal brand and to drive traffic to other platforms that are much easier to convert in terms of clients. Now, the last thing that I'd like to say is you have the ability to, again, include your bio link. And if you're using something like Linktree, which is what I use, you know, Linktree, this allows you to include multiple links. So what's happening is you're able to, again, drive traffic to a Linktree and a bio link and have relocation guides, buyers guides, sellers guides, home consultations, or whatever you want to do in order to, again, funnel that traffic because the views are so big on TikTok, as you can see here, that you're able to use that mass engagement to funnel traffic to links that otherwise might have been more difficult to. And the last thing that I'll say is you can repurpose to Reels. If you watch my video about Instagram, Reels are the number one feature of the platform right now in terms of getting mass engagement. And the beautiful part about TikTok is it's also vertical. So to make your life easier, you can kill two birds with one stone just by repurposing your TikToks into Reels. Now, let's talk about what you should be posting, right? So let's dive into this a little bit. So there's a simple formula that I use for Instagram and other social media platforms. And I've used this in other videos, but I'll explain it again, which is, E2I equals FC. And what this is, is if you look at EEI equals focused engagement or focused comments, if you will. So you could call this FE, FI, um, either which way. So we want focused comments and focused engagement, which when I'm saying that, it means comments that are actually intentional. It's not people just dropping emojis. It's people that are actually potential buyers or sellers asking for more information, which is what we want. It's actually useful comments. So we've got entertainment, education, impact equals focus engagement. So let's look at what we need to do here. So if we look first at entertainment, what can you be posting that's actually entertaining to people? So the first thing, and this is what I really like about um, TikTok, is the fact that it actually gives you the trends. If you don't know what to post, which is the most common question I get from people on other platforms like Instagram and YouTube, TikTok, you just go to the discovery page and it shows you what the most trending posts are. It's incredibly easy, which is really cool. Now, other aspects of entertainment that you can do is BTS or on the job. 
So behind the scenes are on the job. A lot of people like to have fun with this, which is like showing different outfit transitions or showing what the real day in the life of a real estate agent is, showing different showings and what they're doing out and about with clients or quirky things that come up along the journey that you just want to vent about, which is really cool. And that's what I love about TikTok is that you don't have this stigma of being super professional in there. I find a lot of people on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, especially feel like they have to be all buttoned up, clean press and have a certain look or feel on there. And if they don't, they're going to be judged. But what TikTok allows you to do is explore or express your true personality. If you're funny, comedic, playful, whatever your situation is, um, it really allows you to highlight that, which is really cool. Now, another thing is lifestyle. So a couple of things you can do in terms of lifestyle is whether it be passions, hobbies, kind of highlighting different things. For me, I do TikTok videos about my car or about travel traveling or anywhere that I'm going. Um, but it's a really great way to kind of showcase your personality and what you're interested in. And the last one in terms of entertainment, and this one works really well, is property tours. Okay, so one of the easiest things you can do when you're doing showings with buyers or when you're doing previews, or you just listed just sold open house, whatever, is take this and just do a couple panning shots outside the front outside the back in the like, three or five different rooms toss a trending song on there and you've got a TikTok. It's incredibly easy. It does not get any easier than that. And the beautiful part is, is it actually gets a ton of engagement. So one of the best things you can do with those videos is just be like, what does $500,000 get you in Dallas? And if you're doing a property tour in Dallas and showcase that, what is a million dollar condo look like in LA? and show things like that. And it's very easy because again, it's already a process of that we're going through. We're already out viewing these properties. We're already previewing things. And now you can turn it into something that can get mass engagement. So now let's look at education. So education is very easy because when you start looking at what can education be, this is things like buyers, sellers, investors, tips. Right? So these are all going to be tip videos. And then the next thing in terms of education is going to be things related to your local market, because that's where you're trying to actually attract clients from. So you can do very pillar videos. And I'm going to break down a couple things because this is similar to the content, for example, that you'd be putting out on YouTube. But when you want to look at what type of educational videos you should be putting out in TikTok. What you want to be doing is things like relocation. So moving to Florida, five things you need to know. You want to be doing living there, what it's actually like to live there, which is like pros and cons of living in your city, uh, cost of living in your city, very quick 15 second videos. It doesn't have to be difficult. The next thing is community and city. So doing quick little community city tours, not full tours, but highlighting different unique features of communities and cities, right? About whether it be a cool local coffee shop in a certain area or the most popular, um, you know, pub strip, bar strip, restaurant strip in an area, anything like that. And then the last thing that you can do is just educate people on the market, right? So talking about different market updates, talking about different things related to your city um, and what's going on in the city. Is it going up? Is it going down? Is it going ballistic? What's happening with buyers? What's happening with sellers? Very quick, easy videos where you don't have to put much context into it. These are things that you would already be doing, which is why it's so powerful. And the fact that you can do it with a front facing camera in 15 to 30 seconds, instead of having to set up a whole studio like this with lighting and sit down for 20 minutes to record a video, it's the best best way for you to crank out content on a frequent basis without having to look too professional. Now, the last thing that we're going to look at right here is impact, right? So some of the things that work really well in terms of impact um, can be inspiration. It can be related to clients stories, and it can be related to kind of like what I call food for thought. Right. So let's look at inspiration. Inspiration can be anything like uh, something related to mindset in terms of did you read a book and you took something cool from it, like an outcome? Did you listen to a podcast and you've got something that is inspirational that you want to share that you think might motivate people? In terms of client success stories, stories do really well on there where you can share something about a client that worked with an agent that couldn't get the job done and you came in and did, or you know, you lost a bunch of commission on a property um, because you did something wrong or the person did something like obviously abiding by compliance rules and confidentiality, but have some fun with this um, because the stories are something that people really resonate with, especially other agents. And then the food for thought is again, anything that comes to mind, um, just share it on there. And it's a really great short form way to just share something funny, playful, comedic, whatever you're thinking of, it aligns with that platform, which I love so much. So now what we need to do is look at how often and when should be posting. And then we're going to talk about making it easy. So how often and when? So how often 
one to two times per day, which I know sounds insane, which is why I post once a day, make sure you go follow me. But when you start looking at this, it's very easy when you look at the last step that I'm gonna show you. And it does seem like a lot, but you have to realize that for me to sit down and record a YouTube video could be 10, 15, 20 minutes. For me to do a TikTok is 15 to 30 seconds. So when you start batching your ideas and writing down simple ideas like I'm gonna show you, it will become quite easy for you. And when should you be posting? You should be posting when people are not working. Now for realtors, that's hard because we should be working all the time. But when you start looking at this, it's like morning, noon, night. So when you start looking at posting, maybe you want to post, you know, six to, uh, you know, 8 a.m. You want to post like 11 to 1 p.m. and maybe 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So you want to look at what is your best chance to get in front of people, right? And when people are working or kids are in school, it's not going to be the best time, which is why you want to start looking at, you know, times where people are on lunch, times where people are taking a break in the evening or before the day has gotten started. Now, the last thing I want to show you is making it easy. So let's let's show you what I do in order to post every single day. So here's the process that I go through. When I'm making YouTube videos, what I do is I go through this simple process where I find ideas, I then write out the title, I then write out the bullet points of the video that I want to include. Maybe it's five steps for X, five steps for Y. And that's what I do when I want to create YouTube videos. And I do this and I batch it, right? So what we're going to do here is called batching. And when you're looking at batching your content, it's not doing videos just here, there and everywhere, which is good to do when you're on the job, right? So what I'm talking about here is, is more so um, about the buyer's tips, seller's tips, city tips, things like that. Not so much the on the job type stuff, property tours, because obviously you have to do that when you're there. But for the majority of content, you can batch it. So look at finding ideas in terms of, again, the echo effect. What do buyers and sellers commonly ask you? There's a ton of ideas that you can turn into a video. Um, what type of YouTube videos have you already done? And also looking at trends and things like that and just writing out ideas. Now, when you've got your title and your bullet points for a YouTube video, here's what I do is I go ahead and I create the YouTube video in full length, breaking out all the bullet points in detail, just like I'm doing right now. And then what I do is I go over here and I take the exact same list of videos that I would do for YouTube and I would do them on TikTok in 15 to 30 seconds. So what you do is you're killing two birds with one stone because now you've got all your titles, you've got all your bullet points of the information you want to include in that video. On YouTube, you're just explaining it in detail. On TikTok, you're just basically saying it. So in YouTube, you might talk about five reasons to move to Denver. And you might explain that in a five, eight minute video. And then on TikTok, you would say, hey, these are the five reasons to move to Denver. And you say one, two, three, four, five, and you're done. So what I do is I take every single month, I take one day, just like I'm doing right here, and I batch all my YouTube videos for the month. And I take another day and I batch all my short form because again, this also goes for reels. So in two days, I usually do one to two months of content in each of these days. So either 30 to 60 videos back to back, and then usually eight uh, YouTube videos for each month. So six, eight to 16 videos. It takes me two days to do two months of content. And when you start batching your content like that, that's gonna make it very easy for you to then record at scale, get it done, not have to worry about it again. And you're again, by using this strategy of writing at your titles, your bullet points, and then looking at the similarities between these two platforms, you have a very easy way to again, batch this and make it easy on yourself. So hopefully this gives you some clarity on why TikTok is so important, how often to post, when to post, what to post, and efficient ways to make it easier on you. Um, because this is what I do. I don't want to become overwhelmed by social media content. And by doing it this way, um, it becomes much easier to stay active on the platform. So if you have any other questions, again, just drop a comment below. Otherwise, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on TikTok. And we will see you next time.